Hi, this is Stan Bush. Hi, this is Stephanie Calvert. This is John Payne. This is Jack Hughes. Hi, I'm Gary Stevens. Hey, everybody. This is Prescott Niles. Hello, I'm Kofi Baker. listening to play that rock and roll okay well another another photo i, I definitely want to highlight because this is another favorite of mine is uh another songwriting legend is actually there's a couple of pictures uh the neil young photos so these were recorded in 2010 you did the album la noise with yeah. him and it's my understanding that's a play on Daniel's last name, which is nobody funny. could pronounce it. And so, um, when when Neil would call Dan, they go, "Yo, the noise." <laughs> <laughs> so it awesome. stuck. It, it was supposed to be called Hitchhiker. The, the oh, record. yeah. And then uh, and then just last second, Neil thought it was a funny thing to you know put his name on there. I think it's a a great title because this is that's one of Neil's heavier albums. Like there's there's some good noise on that record, and when I see those photos, those close ups, and and hearing you just say the the thing about Dylan and the autograph seekers, from what I've read, Neil seems like a guy who's much more comfortable in that rock star mode, that rock star role that you have to play when you're around people would you say that was kind of your experience with him too was he sort of comfortable being like a number one <laughs> okay ready uh okay so um neil only records three days before the full moon so we would have to wait for every full moon to record you know we'd start on three days and then end on the full moon so okay. it took six months to make the record so we kept on you know, uh, um, you know, waiting for him to come back, you know, to, and so the record was meant to be an acoustic record, him just playing acoustic and, and some songs. And um, so what happened was, is, um, you know, I'm thinking, geez, how am I going to better Neil Young's guitar sound? Like, like you know, like it's, he's got the best sound I've ever heard. And, you know, I've always been impressed by by what what he had. And so he brought his amps and his guitars and stuff like that. And uh so with the acoustic, I, he's he played a house, the one of Daniel M was uh, Guild guitars, and uh, for whatever reason, this Guild guitar uh, it it had um, a beautiful kind of low end, like doom. It was like a bass sub, and so and then it would just rattle the windows in the house because I had like these eighteen inch subs stacked with like sp stacked speakers on top. So when he played the guitar, like his pant legs would move and he just smile like, oh, my God, like this is crazy. I think the, the song was something war. Uh, um, I can't remember. Oh, Love and War? Love and War. Yeah. So yeah. it's got a big, huge low end. And so uh, and then uh, we did another song called Hitchhiker or Walk This Walk, uh, Walk With Me. And, right. and so with walking me, he goes, I got this guitar. It's an old 50s Les Paul gold top. I painted it black and it's got like this Thunderbird pickup in the back. And he runs it into these two uh, tweed amps. And that's how he gets his sound, you know, by kind of like overdriving these things. And so, you know, I thought, oh, geez, I'm going to, you know, get a guitar, you know, electric guitar sound. So uh, so I turned the volume up on, on the console. And then so he just hits a chord and with the subs and accidentally that sub was going to his guitar and so oh. it created this huge kind of like thunder you know like and he's just got this big smile on his face and he's like he's never felt this before from a guitar you know like this is like magic for him and he's like you know going crazy and so we ended up uh doing that song and i think hitchhiker's got it on it too and and so if you, you listen, you know, on good stereos, it's got like super bottom on it. So that's awesome. Yeah, that definitely comes through. It's a it's a kick ass heavy album. And that's my favorite version of Neil. I like when he's in heavy um, mode. Yeah, yeah. So that was recorded at the Bella Vista. 
and yeah, and and the music videos that were all used for that record were recorded there too, right? Was that all done at the same that time? All that, that the whole thing came together by uh, um, Daniel had made a record called Black Dub, which was kind of like a, a kind of a bunch of different musicians and singing and playing. And so the whole idea behind that record is that every uh, take was live and we'd film it. And so then there's the recording of it and the film of it is all one take. And so uh, Neil's uh, manager at the time, Elliot Roberts, was Daniel's manager. And so Elliot had showed uh, Neil these these pictures. He goes, oh, I want to do that for a, a, a acoustic record. And so... They, and so that's why it came down around to um, for him to come in and do that. So it was. Uh, wow. So it, it sort of like unintentionally became a, a big heavy record because you guys discovered that sound through the yeah. process. Oh, now that's that is awesome.